tough because it's not <laughs> I yeah, I'm really not sure what's going on. We do have a, well, this is regarding corals. We do have two questions. Um, the first one would be, what adaptations do corals make to survive in the deep ocean? Um, well, deep sea corals in lack of sunlight do not have zooxanthellae, which is the um, algae symbiont that shallow corals have. Um, so they rely solely on filter feeding so you'll find them in locations with lots of flow. Um, let's see, they have bacterial, bacterial associates um, that we don't know a whole lot about, but that may play a role in survival as well. Um, yeah, let's see what else. Do you have any ideas, Paula? About the deep sea corals? Deep sea coral adaptations. Deep sea coral adaptations. Uh, they tend to have these kind of upright habits, yeah? Yeah, that's very true. Since they don't need to catch sunlight, they don't need to have like a lot of um, superficial Surf surface area. Surface area, yeah, area. that's the word. So I'm guessing if what they need is current flow and catch, depend on that, then an upright growth would be best. Thank you. And then, um, well, this is a qu uh, question um, that we've talked about, that we've answered before, but we have our new viewers tuning in. So how long uh, does coral live? Um, deep sea corals can live for a very long time on the scale of like thousands of years. I think the right. oldest coral um, found and recorded was a black coral, and it was over 4,000 years old. Wow. Um, so deep sea corals are very slow growing and they also live for a long time. Yeah, and even if they're dead, they usually sometimes their uh, their structure will remain, especially if they are one? hard corals, good, and right. that helps you maintain its ecosystem You got role. an idea on this? Thank you. Oh uh, yeah, for Noah. Okay. Thank you. They say your 4,000s are the new 3,000s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that, a great uh, point. Crevice there on the left. Is that a what? Cave. There's something in the little cave there on the left. Oh. An orange thing. Ooh. Ooh. Chonagops? I hope so. Crab? Zoom in, dude. Looks crab like. Crab. Yeah. Crab with backpack? Huh. But we haven't seen many. Bigger crabs. Yeah, that's that cool. Is a larger crab. Not no backpack. No, no backpack. backpack. <laughs> School's out. We're all impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he or naked? Is or is that a backpack? Yeah. Flat backpack. Like more like a messenger bag. Yeah. Those are in style. You can come out of the corner now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on. Thank you. Must be in timeout. It's <laughs> <laughs> an interesting feature. Said bad words on SPL. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why Adam has to go sit in the studio sometimes by himself? <laughs> Think about what I've done. Did you really not bring any snacks? Wait, to the watch or on the cruise? No, on the cruise. No, I did. They're oh, gone. you did? Yeah, gone. I powered <gasps> through them. <laughs> what did you bring? Just out uh, of curiosity. Some M and M's and okay. some. Uh, I can't even remember now, so long ago. <laughs> Almonds. Almonds. Hmm. 
And then come down to my last uh, Reese's peanut butter cup. Cool. Things are going to get pretty hairy after that. <laughs> I still have my chocolate covered almonds, so nice. Oh. I'll be all right. Maybe that's why the, there were no oatmeal cookies today. I mean, they went out really fast. People are yeah, like, right, right, that's that's true. <laughs> oh no, don't say that. <laughs> People are out of snacks. And they're getting the cookies now. Oh, I thought you were saying that we're out of cookies. Oh no. Really okay, yeah. I mean, if you heard it on SPL, then it must be true. Yeah, it's <laughs> gotta be true. How come it's only oatmeal raisin? <laughs> what happened to the chocolate chips? No chocolate chip. Ate them all during shakedown. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Those are evil anyway. Ooh. They bring <laughs> joy. How <laughs> is that evil? I really want raw cookie dough right now. Raw cookie dough? Yep. Living dangerously. <laughs> I don't want it to be Bridge cooked. <laughs> oh my god, cookie dough ice cream. Five okay, zero meter is two four five. The Ben and Jerry's one is really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's a whip. Are there any uh, coral or sponge species that we're really looking on the lookout for? Not this. Not one. really. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Robertson, no. <laughs> <laughs> I would gander. This is another from node. From node. Is that how you use gander in a sentence? What? Yeah. <clears throat> how did you say? I would it? gander. Yes. No. Gander. Uh, yeah. What's wrong with that? I'd say that. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Well, how would you say it? Uh. Take a gander. Yeah. What does that mean? Can't you? Like, uh, it's a male gander. Goose. Like, gather. <laughs> gander <laughs> oh, okay. means to look. Yeah. Ah, okay. Evaluate. Okay, we're starting this next 50 meter move. Okay. I was waiting for the resounding chorus of let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you got to start it, dude. Let's, let's go. go. Uh, it just, uh, it just seems to be less enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually the let's go that powers the ship. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, chat says the ocean floor looks like cookie dough. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, and then one, chunks. yeah, and then one of our uh, viewers tuned in, and we were, when we were talking about ice cream, and said detritus ice cream. Oh, okay, well that helped balance that out. <laughs> Rocky Road, I guess, is yeah. more of the thing here. What do crabs eat at this depth? Oh, um, anything. 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 Well, they are kind of uh, scavengers. The yeah. They're scavengers, yeah. <sighs> What's going on with this screen up here? What? Was I here this morning, that line? On the I right side of the screen? Oh, I oh, see it. Monitor? It's been there before. Okay. Yeah. Where? What? On the right uh, side. Right. Which, the top? First four? of all, which screen? Top, top yeah, right. Like, like a line. Top? Yeah, that's a right. line. That's like a line. I don't see a line. There's yeah, a vertical no line. line. I don't want to. I don't Two have glasses and I see the line. <laughs> one red, one green. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. It is there. That's very bad. Does that very mean it's on its way out? Very bad. It's lots of work for Dave. Oh, oh. sorry, Dave. Oh. Sorry, oh. sorry, lots Dave. Of work for Dave. Uh, taking that monitor down and putting a spare in. Oh. Really? You gonna do that for that line? I don't think Probably. it's needed. I can't see the line. We don't see any Is line that now. What no, line? No problem. Exactly. Oh, I see it now. Is it part of the... Now you can't unsee it. No, I can't unsee it. I don't think it's affecting anything, but is it heralding a larger issue? <laughs> heralding could be a word of the day. That was good. Heralding. 
I've seen that up there before. Lots of Xeno Fio fours. Sorry, Dave. Uh. <laughs> 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 I just said don't end. No word. It hurts. Way to ruin Dave's I watch. I know. <laughs> Are you really going to replace that? It's Paul Myra. I would not. I would not replace that. It's Paul Myra. It's Paul Myra. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to see. Uh, replace okay. that once they get the uh, the hydraulics sorted on the, on the ROV. It's definitely not affected anyone since no one noticed it. Not affected. Dave's affected. Well. <laughs> Bob's right. You can't unsee it now. <laughs> but you don't. You're not sitting here looking at it, so don't worry. <laughs> yeah, Only if all the other watches report it. Otherwise, we'll keep keep that secret between us and everyone watching it online. <laughs> Everybody online. Yeah, all no one the tell. World. I'm thinking about our upcoming uh, expedition. I mean, it's not affecting. Them. Right. Right. It's yeah. True. I mean, I guess if if that's the worry, I would do it in port. Yeah. 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 Agreed. My. Yeah, those are pretty heavy. And yep. there's nowhere to stand that is no. not involved leaning over. <laughs> yeah, oh, I've on the other very expensive monitors. I've done it. I've I've replaced. First of all, I hung them all originally, and then uh, I've had to swap them. I went and got Ooh. them all. That's true. You did. Yeah. <laughs> Made a trip to Orange County. Yeah. Oh, there's a big fish. Ooh, where, where, where? Ooh. Oh. It's interesting. Hmm. Hey, zoom in on that guy. It's got like the halosaur front and the cuskiel back. <laughs> it's a cuskosaur. That's <laughs> true. Cusk, right? Cusk. Oh. oh yeah, it's got the roundy, yeah. roundy standard head. Issue. <laughs> standard, standard issue. Standard, standard <laughs> issue. <laughs> it's got that kind of translucent helmet thing going on. I want to know what it's thinking. Paolo? Oh. Okay, give me one sec. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, he's asking where he can get like a decent sized crab nearby. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, sorry, buddy. You can give him some coordinates. <laughs> <laughs> Go to waypoint yeah. four. <laughs> Bridge nav. I think we saw one like 15 me meters ago. <laughs> yeah, let's add another five ago, zero yeah. meters to two four five. Mm. Awesome. Let's go. Do we have an idea on the fish? Cusk. Cusk. Yeah. Cusk. Yep. Standard issue. Standard, <laughs> Standard <laughs> issue. No. Poor thing. <laughs> don't don't tell it we said that, Paula. <laughs> If okay. you're if you're in communication, is that a sea pen <laughs> yes, yes, no, no. I, I very special cuskiel. Very thing. special. <laughs> very special and important to us. and appreciated by us. Yes. By us. <laughs> Get it? It's participation ribbon. <laughs> <Mm -hmm. laughs> oh, it was right on time, Adam. <laughs> Every half an hour. What happens? Oh, yeah. oh a fish. Yeah, every <laughs> half hour. <laughs> Cue the fish. Doesn't it look like just a little bit inconvenienced? <laughs> We've inconvenienced it. Maybe. Oh. Let's start <laughs> That's his bad side, Jules. <laughs> okay, hold on. There's a drop of water in the camera, too. This guy's smiling. I saw that too. Oh, jeez. Anything what? else? I don't <laughs> see that one either. The line is gone. Oh, it is. Look, Dave, you don't have to change it. It's still there. Wow, oh, it's still there. <laughs> the red line is gone. <laughs> the red line is gone. That's true. 
that's uh, Dave's side story to the musical, The Thin Red Line. <laughs> A song about heartbreak and disappointment. <laughs> 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 Might be a country song. Yeah. <laughs> I once met a, a, a volunteer back home. He was from the States. And he was telling me that at first he really liked enjoy the Christmas songs we have back home. We have a very... Oh. unique set of Christmas songs in Puerto Rico mm -hmm. and the thing is that they have so many meanings about people killing each other and oh then, no and what? Like, but we sing it like in a really happy melody <laughs> <laughs> so we're all like singing very happy about <laughs> that and then once he knew that he was saying that that's the equivalent of, co of country music <laughs> in the uh. in the states where maybe a uh, cousin Falls yeah. in love with another cousin. Wow, I can't. Okay, it's like stuck in my head now. There's something <laughs> cool coming up, I think. Oh, it was nothing. It was a shadow. Sorry. Shadows are cool. You're right. Um, can you sing us some of the Christmas songs? <laughs> I'm not a singer. <laughs> or cousin no, songs. No, please, please. <laughs> okay, let me think of one. Okay. Okay, so there's this song that's about, um, like, like in Bayamón, it's a town, and then it always rains in Bayamón. So it's like, porque en Bayamón llueve todos los días, because it rains every day. And then that song like rapidly switches to like, when it rains, then people are like, hiding from the rain and then like how Puerto Rican woman and we don't do this <laughs> but it will like do like um witchery and then like put oh, like, like wow. candles everywhere and then to make a man fall in love <laughs> huh. it's a good song dark happy songs it's, it's, it's a very happy song like we sing it very happily with the hmm. panderos like oh, yeah. like on Christmas yeah wow that's one of the best ones so you say you don't do the witchery? I don't, no. Um, let's see. Oh, that has a bamboo vibes. Yeah, it, it does have bamboo vibes. That one's a bamboo. The other one, I'm not so sure. That was a very large shrimp. Oh, wow. Shrimp. Oh. I think we're zoomed in a lot. Still, yeah. compared to the shrimp next to it. Oh, yeah, right. look at that. <laughs> right, wow. Jumbo shrimp. This one yes. is a <laughs> pyramid. <laughs> the small okay. shrimp. My favorite oxymorons. <laughs> it wouldn't. It wouldn't. Like, okay. Oh, what? just walking right on by. It's like on stilts. <laughs> <laughs> How's the weather up there? <laughs> current. <laughs> yeah, yeah, how's the current up there? <laughs> All right, we got these. Thank you. Can I move on? Move on. Yep, moving on. Let's go. Let's go. Deeper. It's true. Can we get a uh, total distance update? You know, I was just thinking that. Let's see.
I gotta get a move on here. Oh. Has it gotten colder? Is it been? Oh, I'm Blula. We're almost at 700 meters. What? what? Yeah. We are Ooh, cooking. Awesome. Boots, boots. That kind of looks like the first <laughs> sea pen we sampled in terms of the distribution of that dark stuff down the core of each of the polyps? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it does. I feel like that may be a like relative? Or that's Oh like yeah, food. no, they're definitely related. They're both sea pens, but I think that may be like a, it's like stomach, digestive system. Mm. Do they have stomachs? a half degree warmer in here than the last time you asked. <laughs> oh. uh, just, just saying. I'm not a very reliable uh, thermometer. <laughs> it turns out. Yeah. Okay. So it has a stomach. Open at one end. Zoom in, Dave. So I think it just looks like that because they're like clear. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I think this is another um, from Noid. All right, without looking, does anyone want to guess how much the temperature has increased over our last 200 meters of depth change? So water temperature. Water temperature. Water temperature. Mm -hmm. Are you looking for guesses in Celsius? Yes. Have we? We're going down Got the down slope. Down by or? a degree. No. Two hundred meters. Two hundred meters. Yep. Oh. Allosaur. Point five Celsius. Too much. Too much. Point three. Too much. Too much. Point one. Zero. Too much. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Point zero. Point <laughs> oh five degrees wow. is oh, wow. how much the temperatures increased over the last 200 meters of depth change. Less than I would have predicted. What's that in the rocks? Oh, just a ledge. Never mind. Oh. I was excited too. Yeah, I know. A little <laughs> whaley. This should move is stopped. I'll let you uh, get out ahead before continuing. Roger. Unless we see anything really exciting, now's the time. Look at all these rocks, Adam. Uh, Whoa. Yeah. No? No. <laughs> no? Nothing's piquing your interest? I gotta be kinda selective. We got yeah. one, one bin. So I have a question for Mike. Shoots. Okay, Mike, what is the best state and why is it New Jersey? <laughs> <laughs> wow. What? what is the best date and why is it what New Jersey? What is the best state? state and why is it New Jersey? Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> the best. <laughs> I thought you asked what is the best date and why is it New Year's Eve? I was like, well, <laughs> there you go. There you go. What is the best date and why is it 
New Jersey. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. <laughs> 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 uh, I would say that New Jersey is the current best state in my opinion due to the fact that uh, there are people that uh, that are are there as well as a dog that I care deeply for. So uh, otherwise, go Hawaii. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> well, that's nice. <laughs> so Hawaii is the Aloha State. What is New Jersey? Do we know? Garden State. Garden State. Garden State. State. Garden State. They are very. They defend uh, their corn like nobody's business. Huh. You've never had corn until you've had Jersey corn. Oh, oh yeah. interesting. What about like all of the Midwest? Not the same. Interesting. See, I, th I think I mentioned this before, but everyone defends their own corn because <laughs> once you pick it, it starts to lose its sugar content. That's and true. the farther yeah. it goes, the, yeah, the less sweet sense. it is. Jersey sweet corn. Uh, I would say it's actually pretty tasty. So. But what if you're a traveling corn taster? <laughs> <laughs> then, you, then, then you probably have a, a real this is a thing. I want this job. <laughs> <laughs> this job was actually my second choice. I wanted to be a traveling, traveling corn, corn taster. taster. Yeah, it's hard to get break into that biz. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. So wait, what are everyone else's states? California's Golden State. Washington is the Evergreen State. Nice. Puerto oh, Rico, unfortunately, not a state. <laughs> not a state. <laughs> oh, sorry, American Samoa is out of the like, also not yeah, also right. not a state. What would you want it to be? Oh. Puerto Rico, the let's go state. <laughs> <laughs> no. Puerto Rico American actually has. Samoa. I mean, no, let's American Samoa. Samoa. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I misspoke. The Bo let's go. Oh, you don't want? I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah. Puerto Rico actually has 78 municipalities, so you can just cross from town to town in like 20 minutes, and every municipality has its own plaza, its own church, and its own slogan. Oh. What? So we have 78 slogans. Which municipality are you from? I'm from Tuawaja. It's called uh, El Pueblo de Llanero, so that means huh. the, the flattest town. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we don't have any mountains. Wow, and there's some really cool mountains in Puerto Rico, so they're making <laughs> we're making the statements so we don't have the mountains. Town. You can put something down in that town, and it doesn't roll anywhere. You know, <laughs> just I think we're south. below the sea level. <laughs> <laughs> there's a town near me called Atascadero, which is like a muddy place. Oh, which is also a great, great <laughs> town name. <laughs> hey, that's that's what translates to. Yeah, a muddy place, <laughs> Atascadero. Mm -hmm. We oh. have some really cool ones. There's Rincón, and it's like the sunset town. Mm, yeah. We were from Salinas, which is salt marsh. Yeah. Oh. Also, Alaska. that one's named after the Salinan tribe as well. Alaska is the last frontier. Oh, yes. wow. oh, okay. What's the Massachusetts one? I can't remember. Uh, I can't the Patriot State. Lobster. Or yeah, the Patriot oh. State. Okay. Hey, really? that's hey, that's my parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> what about Oregon? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm a trans, transient resident of Oregon. <laughs> Bridge, Nev. You're going to have your... The state uh, of Alaska is not listening. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. uh, Oregon. We can do Oregon. five zero meters, uh, 245. Hmm. Oh, well, I know the well, the motto, Oregon.gov says, state? she flies with her own wings. Oh, could be the Pioneer State. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that the Oregon Trail State? Yeah. <laughs> Dysentery state. <laughs> oh. oh no. Oregon Trail, best game ever. Yeah. I also it's enjoyed the Amazon one of the Trail. Games. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Bay State. Oh, huh. that's nice. That's, that's Massachusetts? Oregon. Massachusetts. No. no. Oh, Wait. Massachusetts. I don't think that's its thing. 
what is... <sighs> I don't know how to find... Yeah, what? State nicknames. Look up state. State name. nicknames. Okay, Oregon has a state motto. She flies with her own wings. Yeah. yeah we heard that a moment ago from. Oh really? <laughs> from Annie. Yeah. Sorry, Annie. No, you're good. I guess it is the Bay State. The Bay State. Okay. Oregon is the Bay State. No, Massachusetts. Oh, oh that's right. What's oh. Oregon? The beaver looking, state. Looking. Beaver state. Oh, yeah, the beaver state. The beaver state. <laughs> okay. Yeah, beaver state. Yep. And then, oh, Rhode Island, Ocean State, Little Rhodey. Mm -hmm. Ocean okay. State, yeah. It's got more coastline, I don't know, than oh. something or other. Look, what's oh, this? Oh, another sleepy time lobster. Ooh. Sleepy time. <laughs> <laughs> sleepy time lobster. <laughs> sleepy time little guy. Uh, I think it's time for us. Covers on, no, oh, yeah, not it really it's like tucked in. in. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not even 11 yet. So. Oh no. no. We're close to 11. Close. Yeah. There's still so much to explore, though. So <laughs> many meters sure to go so before we land. <laughs> see. So he got his legs tucked in or something. Yeah. 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 His tail. It's all tucked tail. in. We're kind of ready to And what are those? Fold up. That's so cute. Yeah. Are those, those claws? What are those? I think they're, yeah, I think they're his front appendages. I don't know. God, I wish I was him. Really? I mean, I know it looks like it's sleeping, but what is it doing? Hunting? Waiting? No, I think it's resting. Resting? Looks so comfortable. I, yeah, I think we maybe I'm projecting. I think I think we <laughs> don't know what it's doing. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's thinking about snacks. <laughs> <laughs> to try this ice cream. <laughs> Wondering who ate all the Oreos. No, no. <laughs> I actually have a few in my room. What? What? A few not a few, not a few. Not a few packs. Not a few packs. I had a pack and I didn't finish I it. I don't know. Oh, yeah. boy. You're backpedaling. Time for room <laughs> inspection. No, uh, don't protest too much. <laughs> <laughs> now, some Oreo cookie ice cream would be pretty oh, good. Oh. Stop. That's my wife's favorite ice cream. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, sorry, I found American Samoa. This is true. Oh nice. Yeah. So American Samoa, it's called um, Motu of Yafiango. Um, there's two, and then there's the football islands. So oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So we get we get a lot yeah. of NFL um, coaches come for uh, to recruit or college. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And then Some Motu of Yafiango in English, it is Islands of Paradise. Oh, mm. that's nice. true. But I like let's go, let's go, <laughs> let's, go. Yeah, let's go with that. So you're gonna petition for the change? Yeah, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that when I get back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have an idea for the the the, the lobster. Oh scene. yeah, what is oh. it? Slipper. Homero, mm, Homerion Asper. Homerion Asper, yeah. Homerion Asper. Look yeah. at that, that one's unburied. And it's those right. back pointing arms are always back pointing, I guess. Huh, you're right. Actually, Puerto Rico also has a name. It's called Isla del Encanto. Yeah. It's Puerto, um, Island of Enchantment, yeah? Yep. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. It. And Puerto Rico's original name was Boriquen. Boriquen, that was the the natives name for the island oh. and then once we were colonized first by the Spaniards they we had a lot of gold running through the rivers oh, so what? yeah like a lot of gold so they started like exporting gold and they had like the one port at that time so it was like Puerto Rico like a rich port oh. Oh. so what, what was it called before? Boriquen. Boriquen? Yeah oh. Bo with a B Boriquen and then Boriquen. with a K Boriquen. Boriquen. Oh, Puerto Rico. <laughs> yeah, Puerto Rico. Rico. Sometimes in the National Rainforest oh. Tropic Forest, you can see like the little gold uh, nuggets 
on the river. Zoom on this, please? Yeah. But yeah. they're very small, so you, they're not worth much, but they're still there. Well, you still that's amazing. Ice. Pick up enough of them, they're going to be worth something. <laughs> right? I mean, you know yeah, there's a new true. gold rush in California because all the rain? Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. I think yeah, this might be the <laughs> price of gorge. Yeah, I think so, too. What are we looking at? We think this is a chrysogorgid. Oh. Huh. It's new. New color. Yeah. I have not seen this before. It's really pretty, though. So something did come out of the atmosphere river. Yeah, there was a silver lining to that torrential rain cloud. Sure wasn't a gold lining. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> getting, getting some tough uh, gold notes line of bad drugs here. <laughs> Wow, look at that. All right, got it. Thank you. Price of you? Can I do a reset? Yeah. Awesome. Yes, you can. You're a little reset happy on the DVL well, tonight. Well, there's something going on. Do you know what that is? Check your load star. <laughs> Bridge nav. We can add a uh, five zero meters to two four five. So, what time are we coming up tomorrow? Uh, I think later than we planned. Okay. Really? Yeah, I mean, I think we got three watches left on bottom, probably. There's no no room for anything. Yeah, I know it's true, but sometimes seeing what's there is half the battle. So I guess what I'm asking is, are we going to have midwater tomorrow? <laughs> the real question. Let me see if I can uh, swing the balance of the scale so that we don't. Beautiful. Will the evening be mapping? Will the what? Evening be mapping tomorrow? Yes. Yeah, we got, uh, I think, something like... 16 hours to get over to the next dive site. Okay. Oh, okay. We do have a question from chat. Um, uh, what is one of the most challenging aspects of retrieving a specimen? Mm. For biological samples, I think... Um, you zoom in, Dave. We try to take, um, like, we try not to take the whole organism as much as possible. Right. Um, and sometimes it can be very tricky to maneuver. Oh, it's a sea pen. What is it doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was so accusatory. It's living its life. The one of the challenges for the rock samples is the iron manganese crust cements them in place. Ah, okay. And then there, uh, there's actually so many different challenges, right? Like if you're on a oh, this could be anthoptilum. a steep wall, Noted. you got to figure yeah. out how to kind of get Drop the it. ROV in place right. in order to kind of free up your hands for the manipulators. There's things that are floaty sometimes you get things that are too big to go in a box then you gotta get creative right right so we're looking at a we're good it here like thank you uh, rock pen oh, okay. and pop tillum
bit quiet. <laughs> it's quiet time. <laughs> oh, oh, what can is we that? look at this? It looks like it made oh. a little trail. Could it be a mollusk? Or is it a rock? It just kind of looks like a rock. <laughs> yeah, but there's a trail. Oh, right, there's a trail. I think we zoom in, Dave. I think it's a rock. It's like the Death Valley rock. I think maybe the trail goes around it. You think? Oh, I guess it does. And you see this guy blocking here, and then you go around. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was really hoping it was like something with a shell. Yeah, I'm still hoping to see an acorn worm. Oh, uh, they saw one on the watch before us. What? Yeah. It was really cool. Didn't Didn't we saw snailfish? They did? Snail? Yeah, yes. snailfish. They did. Wow. That's saw a snailfish. Deep sea creature. Sure is. An iconic deep yeah. sea creature. Whoa. 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 <laughs> what? That's very There's impressive. A bersingid, two bersingids. Oh my god, it looks so friendly. It does. <laughs> it looks like a friend. Oh. The snailfish is always what they're finding is like the newest, deepest organism or fish or something. Oh yeah, look. Increasing by a meter every time or something. <laughs> <laughs> Becomes the deepest fish ever filmed in April 2023. Mm -hmm. Wow. But it was also probably the deepest fish ever filmed in <laughs> April 2022 and then 21. <laughs> it was like three more meters. Now it's the <laughs> deepest fish again. <laughs> uh, what? What? Well, why? It doesn't say snailfish melting. Snailfish melting. Snailfish melting. I don't know why that was suggested. Hmm. They do look kind of like a they have kind of a weird amorphous body structure. Melts on surface. It's probably when it comes up from the deep sea and right. it doesn't have a lot of body Don't structure really left. Know about that. Oh look, this rock made a nice trail too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, keep moving. keep moving. Keep moving. Keep <laughs> moving. Bridge nav. Oh wow, so you're right Adam, in 2018 they broke the record and again Let's add another 20, 5 zero meters <laughs> to uh, 245. Uh, sorry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then a question from our viewers. Any mysterious creatures you are hoping to find? Maybe there is a myth legend and it has not been seen in ages like Moby Dick, the white whale. Oh. Giant squid. Giant squid. Giant any, squid. Any sure. excessively large squid, I would be happy to see. Yeah, me too. The white whale. Sleeper shark. A, A white shark? Sleeper shark. Sleeper shark. Yeah, that'd be cool. Sleeper oh, shark. that'd be cool. Yeah. I really like chimera. I love chimeras. Oh. Yeah. We haven't seen any of this cruise, have we? Maybe nope. one? Yeah. One. We one. saw one a few weeks ago. Last month. <laughs> Holy moly! Don't put it in those terms. I would like to see like a huge chonacops. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really oh, the megalochops. <laughs> <laughs> <The> mega <-chops. laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want to see, like, huge. We've seen the Holothurian now. Now I want to see the oh. huge Chonacops. I, I want to see a Holothurian, and I want to see it try to eat Herc. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That's yeah. very creative. <laughs> Is there a reason why they're called sleeper shark? Do they sleep a lot? Or That sounds amazing. Don't know why they got their common name as sleeper shark i'm guessing maybe they move as if they just woke up yeah <laughs> yeah that's, that's what it 
um, named for their supposed sluggish nature. Oh. They're quiet bottom dwellers feeding primarily on arrowtooth, flounder, and octopus. A very oh. nice unifier. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all these nice rocks. Right. So many. Yeah, I'm taking lots of rock picks. <clears throat> all these rocks and nothing all that visible living on them. You're getting desperate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a microbe? <laughs> I mean, I zoomed on a rock. I We've all zoomed on a Hey, let's go. Let's go. So now we're down to anemones. That's what I'm talking about. I want to zoom on the anemone. Yeah. Why not? Oh, yes, <laughs> please. <laughs> Maybe we Odd's could just really watch it for the gorgeous. rest of our, di or our watch. What did you say? Okay. Oh, I said maybe we can just watch it for the rest of the watch. No <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> or follow a shrimp. Yep. Oh, that's so pretty. I like the follow a shrimp idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Yes. We can't go that deep. Majority we know rules. the shrimp go all the way down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bring it back around. Could have followed the one with the stilt legs. That would have been cool. Yeah. All right, let's keep moving. There's something better up ahead. Is there? <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> that was so depressing. That's another Sorry. saw cue. That's Just another saw cue right there. The river yeah, I don't think we're finding anything, though. That's when it happens, you know? I mean, we are halfway through a 50 meter move, so now is usually the time. Um, how far have we moved? Uh, slightly more than the last time. <laughs> <laughs> Stand by. If we're on our pace, then it's 150 mm. meters more than half an hour ago. We're going to break some sort of record. Yup. Yup. I believe that. Ship move record. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Uh, 840. Ooh. 840. We're slowing down. I think that's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, are sea anemones what? plants or animals? We're in the middle of a ship move. They are animals. <laughs> they are animals. <laughs> they are <laughs> Nidarians. Beautiful you animals. You gotta speed up. <laughs> Nidarians, like, yeah, like corals. <laughs> they are Nidarians, like corals. Same phylum. Same phylum. What Jules said. Thanks, Annie. So, yeah, I'm trying. I can't come up with anything. Let's talk about <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> Let's ask our friends on the chat. Okay. Hey, to tell us what about? their most 
famous dessert is from wherever they live. Oh. Okay, chat. What is the most famous dessert uh, in your area where you are from? That'd be it's an interesting question. Um, what about what about you guys? Oh, jeez. Maybe Boston cream pie. Oh yeah. I haven't tried that one. Yeah, I haven't tried. It's really that good. Oh wow. Um, here is tres leches. It's oh, really like tres a leches. So yeah. I love it. California, I believe it's a sweet Chardonnay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about that one. No, a Riesling would be more sweet. A Chardonnay Ooh. would be more crisp. Yeah, Chardonnay's a little drier. A little oaky. A little oaky. Oh. No, I don't like the oaky ones. The more citrusy ones. Well, I'll, I'll take it. Then. <laughs> take just about anything right now. <laughs> <laughs> Mail buoy. <laughs> Time for the mail that we pick up. <laughs> Oregon Marionberry Pie. Oh, oh that sounds oh. nice. Oh, and then ha Hawaii, it's Haupia. Oh, Haupia Ooh, Pie. Yeah, yeah Haupia. Yeah, or chocolate Haupia Pie. It's from oh, Ted's. Yeah. yeah. Haupia is, oh, yeah. yeah. What's Haupia? It's uh, coconut. Uh, coconut kind of jello, basically. Yeah. Mm. Ew, Idaho. Mashed potato donuts. <laughs> All right. That's not right. <laughs> oh, we have artichoke cu cupcakes. Wait, Ew. what? Yeah, oh, at the Artichoke, at the artichoke the Festival. Global hmm. artichoke capital. Or no, artichoke capital of the world. Castroville. Yeah. Huh. Artichoke cupcakes, artichoke ice cream, artichoke liqueurs. Right down the road from Gilroy, which is yeah, the garlic, garlic capital. capital. <laughs> Salinas Man, is the salad bowl of the world, yeah. <laughs> My wife was born in Salinas. Really? Yeah. They lived in Alisal. That's right. We've talked about this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Gilroy. Boy, you know when you're getting near there. Sure yep. do. <laughs> yep. Oh, or butter mochi. Oh, oh hey, butter, butter mochi. mochi. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <sighs> That's the mochi. easiest mochi to make at home. What's the recipe? What is it? You use mochiko butter. flour <laughs> and butter <laughs> and well, mix it up and bake it. Oh. oh. Yeah, we have chat tuning in. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. A lot. Um, <laughs> a lot of desserts. <laughs> yeah. So we have Mississippi mud pie, chocolate chip or well, cookie from Massachusetts, and then oh, wagashi sweets here in Kyoto, Hello. Japan. Oh, oh wow! They're made from. They're usually a flour made out of mochi and sweet beans mm. and things. Emerson, what are you doing? Is everything here? okay? <laughs> <laughs> Emerson, join us. Oh. <laughs> so Humble Lamington okay. from Australia. <laughs> oh, I thought they might say Pavlova from right. Australia. Oh, and then Wait, well, um, from, from the Maldives, Pavlova. Bondiba. Uh, Meringue whipped cream dessert. What was the Maldives one? Um, Bondiba. Bondiba. Bondi. Look it up. And then Vancouver Island, Nana Emo bars. Nanaimo bars. Nanaimo oh, bars. Nanaimo so bars. good. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. Nanaimo. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and then I made, I don't know this from Bavaria. So Is it Bavaria? Bavaria? App yeah. Bavaria Apfel Schrudo. Apple oh, yeah. strudel. Apple strudel yeah. Oh, okay. Apple sh is it apple strudel? Yeah, yeah but okay. it's the, it the German okay. apple. And then there's screw pine, kava, kiva, flavored ice cream, smoothies, cake, and juice. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Okay. 
So if we ask our person from Vancouver Island, if they were in Sydney, Vancouver <laughs> Island, where would they go for for a snack place? Oh. That's our next port <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> What's it's the best place to get in the Nanaimo bars? Yeah, <laughs> in, in Sydney. Sydney. If we don't have time to get to Victoria, where do we go? There's Ooh. a really good oh, wow. uh, Thai place on the main street. Okay. Scotland sticky toffee pudding. Oh, ooh. yes. Yeah, that sounds good. And then from ooh, okay. NYC, uh, blueberry peach cobbler, hot mm. out of the oven. NYC, ooh, forget what about, about black it. and white cookies. <laughs> Well, that's what they, that's what they, <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. And he's like, I don't we'll know what to it. tell you. So yeah, I'm <laughs> sorry. I just, I just report the news over we'll here. Yeah. I just work here. <laughs> Man, this is hard. Why are we doing this question at like Ooh, an wait. hour before we can go get our own stuff? Right. So Rocky Mountain Oysters here in Colorado? Oh, no, no. What? No, no, no. What? No, no. What? No, no. <laughs> That's not That's oh. more of an <laughs> Rocky Mountain item. oysters. No, I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Uh, uh, squirrely, squirrely zone yeah. here. Is this? Uh, oh, is he in a fire for? Mm, maybe. Old sponge. Right. Yeah. Muscle bed. No muscle bed. Uh, pretty deep for muscle bed, aren't we? There's no, there's no muscle, muscle bed. Nothing to eat. Old spongies. Oh, oh no, is this true? I'm fine. I don't think I'm supposed to say yeah, this. Yeah, no, don't, don't look yeah, that up. Yeah, I'm gonna up. look that Ah, interesting. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. I looked it up. Oh. <laughs> no. And on Bridge now. <laughs> yeah. Get us out of here. <laughs> yeah, please. please. Uh, let's do five zero meters, two four five. Oh, and then um, I think this is to your reply, Mike. Uh, Sydney, BC, Quinn's Cafe, the farmer's daughter. Queen's oh. Cafe and the Farmer's Daughter? Yeah. Okay. All right. And then we also have our viewers. When he gets to Pat Bay, is there an opportunity for the public to visit the ship? Unfortunately oh. not. We have pretty strict COVID protocols. Right. Um, so we're not able to, to accommodate tours. But we hope in the future when we're able to relax those. But we really do. If you see us, <laughs> if you see us uh, come in, take a photo. We love to see photos of... Uh, the ship coming into port, so take a photo, post it online, tag, hashtag not all this live. Yep. Wave at us. We'll try to wave back. <laughs> Hang out at Quinn's Cafe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quinn's Cafe. We can't. No, yeah. We we'll take out. Can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> we need to take out food. I need to reset the TVL again. <laughs> uh, let me know when you're good for that. Sure. I don't even know where we are. There, there. Uh, yeah. uh, let's just keep going. I'll, we'll do it next time we actually stop. Just a little all over the place. Might be just the steeper slope. Oh, and then also, um, Scotty's uh, Dog Shack. Awesome hot dogs and Stark's Deli and Sausage Factory. Ooh, what? All right. <laughs> oh, that sounds... <laughs> Bookmark. Oh. Bookmark. <laughs> Options. You're speaking Mike's love language. Uh, yeah. oh, <laughs> for real, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Well, this is a, on the flip side, this is a different question. What do you guys think of getting a resident bird pet for the Nautilus, a seabird rescue, perhaps? Ooh. Like a parrot? Like a parrot? Yes. Yes. Oh, like a parrot. <laughs> <laughs> Not like a, a cat option. Yeah, I would be worried about the health and safety of any pet <laughs> living on Nautilus. <laughs> yeah. We have had a few birds during this cruise land on the ship and then fly away. Sometimes you get some that hang around. Right. And sometimes you get like a shorebird that will get stuck on the ship. Yeah. Oh, wow. I've seen a lot of those on on other ships. Someone always gets a box, shoe box, <laughs> for it. Yeah. They don't fare well, though. Mm -mm. Apparently, they don't eat gummy worms, just regular worms. <laughs> oh. Do we have any survivors here of the, of what I've heard was the, the bird, the bird yeah. infestation? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Boobies. Yes. Uh, <coughs> Several yeah. survivors. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> okay, so just FYI, over the past three hours, we've climbed half a degree in temperature, and over the past five minutes, another half degree. Whoa. Oh, wow. Nice wow. mm. bike. Thermocline? Oh. None of that in the van, Jules. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still cold, by the way. 72.5 in here right now. And, and then we oxygen also has dropped off quite a bit as well. Because we're all talking less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've noticed that as well. Yeah. Just the symptoms. <laughs> the symptoms. I think it's better that way. <laughs> <laughs> you sound deeply pained. I think it's, yeah, you do. I think it's quiet time. <laughs> or anoxic, one or the other. Another option for Simi BC, Roger's Chocolates. Oh, yes. Roger's Chocolates. Stuff. I'm bookmarking all of these. Rogers, 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 Rogers. 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 I'm ready. I think, okay. think of them as a Victoria yep. kind of place, but they're probably on Vancouver as well. They make these kind of big, Primno. like a Reese's peanut butter size wow. creams of different flavor strawberry, Ooh. maple, all sorts of flavors. Oh, they're very good. Sound like you've had experience at right? Rogers. Can I've, I've, I've please? yeah, I've had Rogers in my lifetime. They're wrapped in like a little red and white gingham wrapper, as I recall. Is it possible to zoom in on the polyps? You want to oh. zoom? <laughs> Never mind. Oh. <laughs> Thought we were going to do something. Yeah, yeah, we got a coral here we want to check out. This is going to be a good spot for our post dive uh, oh, temperature I think this analysis. Is really like them to take a note. No, nah, no, nah, we'll find it. We'll find it, you think? Yeah, it'll show up. You okay. Know, like okay. Temperature oh. versus depth. I'm very excited for that. Yeah, bamboo. Bamboo. Bamboo? Cool. Good Thank you. Me. Adam, what would you call the texture of that rock? Uh, yeah, lumpy. Hmm. Maybe if I h had to refer back to the Greek language, I would call it botryoidal. Botryoidal. Ah. See, that botryoidal. makes sense because it's yeah. sort of like... Like what? What would you... If When well, you look at it, what do you feel? Well, I sort of feel like grapes. Grapes? Like a bunch oh, of grapes? Like what? a bunch well, of grapes. That's funny because botryus is Greek for bunch of grapes. So what huh. we're kind of dancing around here is that is the kind of scientific term for this lumpy texture that you're seeing on the rocks is botryoidal. It's uh, typically in minerals it forms when minerals grow by radiating crystals producing kind of little spheres that grow together. In this case, uh, this is not made up of 
big crystals, but of just micro crystals, but they grow on, you know, little irregularities in the surface. They grow out radially and then kind of merge together to make this lumpy texture, the fine lumpy texture. So you can see big lumps that are the original kind of volcanic features and then fine or smaller lumps that are the from the iron manganese crust. Fascinating. So in shallow water coral reefs, what type of substrate do you usually find there that's very hard to provide a foundation for the corals to grow? Mm. Calcium carbonate. Yeah, I mean, you mean What's the original I? substrate? Because yeah. mostly they grow on corals, oh, right? In. Corals grow on corals? Um, no, well, when we did restoration, we look for a specific substrate that's very hard, uh -huh. but sometimes we confuse it with another substrate that has uh, lava origins what, of some whoa, kind. That's there's why I'm asking. a holothurian we passed. What? Yeah, it's yeah. just a standard yeah, issue. Right. Yeah. <laughs> standard, standard issue. issue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scrape at the bottom of the barrel. Oh, it's a big one. <laughs> so I don't know what uh, in in your neck of the woods. All right, zoom in there. I'm gonna Google, uh, look for more information and get back to you. Yeah. yeah. Hey. <laughs> Whoa. So we they do have a question. You. So will Nautilus <laughs> make you. it back to the Gulf of Mexico? These guys can't hear you. Uh, <laughs> if we do, not anytime soon. We've been in okay. the I don't know that. since 2015, and oh. we currently have no plans to uh, go anywhere but continuing west to the Pacific. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And then, oh, I want to know who, chat wants to know who is saying the iconic Zoom in Dave. <laughs> 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 that would be Mr. Robert Waters. <laughs> Our Hercules pilot. Is that a something? Oh, oh. well. Could it be Please. a fish? Mm. Is it a rock? That's a rock, left. but there's oh. a You want this coral? No. no, we know no. that coral. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, but there's a fish. There's a fish. Is it a fish? There is a fish above it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. A cuskiel. A cuskiel. Oh, but there's a coral. Right there. Oh my gosh, too much is going on and there's a <laughs> oh, <laughs> crazy <laughs> a lot of folks. Cuskill. Yeah. yeah. Seems like there's a lot of life Grab a biscuit <laughs> bottle. Oh, oh, God, no, not nearly. Do something? Uh, Niskin bottles? Uh, <laughs> Edna? <laughs> Edna. I love Edna. Get to know our old friend Edna again? Zoom in, Dave. Yep. Good old Perm Noid. Noted. Triple icicle. Is that all from one stock? I mm, think so. Base? Yeah, wow. it looks like it. All right, so imagine you hear the sing song of the ice cream truck. No. Do you guys have those? I don't those like where this is going. Yeah. Wait, what? So, Do we have ice cream truck? Yeah. Oh. No. Yeah. No. Okay. It was well, an ice cream van. What do you choose? What's your choice from the ice cream truck? Oh. Strawberry shortcake. Oh, I was going to say that. Really? Yeah. Fudge sickle. <laughs> Rocket pop. Yeah. Rocket pop. You know those ones that look like SpongeBob? Oh, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. They're, but they were always like a little bit. I just like push ups. Push ups, yeah. Push ups? Wow. Push -ups. That reminds me. <laughs> hey, no, this is a safe spot. This is a safe spot. <laughs> oh, we decided so earlier I was not allowed to give Megan any push ups, so. Oh. There is an playing? ice cream that. What? Megan, did you say? Yeah, Megan Cook. Cookie. I didn't know she was a part of this. She's in. If there's you gave me push ups right now, I would do them. Sorry. Oh, no worries. I just said that there, there's an ice cream that looks like a push core, but I don't remember the name. 
Push ups. Ooh. That's probably the same one. The same one? Yeah. 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 There was a Scooby Doo flavor. Off. That was really good. Scooby Doo flavor. <laughs> I feel like I remember that <laughs> one. Like Scooby yeah. Scooby Scooby yeah. Snack flavor? Yeah. A little hair of dog. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Scooby Snacks? I'm going to to move. If you don't mind. Bridge nav. I would have got away with it too if it weren't for those meddling kids. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, <laughs> that's them. <laughs> I remember the taste so well, and it tasted like Scooby Doo, like it made sense. Yeah, right? Yeah. It <laughs> reminds me of the Scooby Snacks. Oh, right. Scooby the Scooby Snacks. snacks. Yeah, the Scooby There's Snacks. Another Primnoid Whip. Those what dog is the world? <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting here wondering what does a Scooby Doo taste like? <laughs> Orange. <laughs> like these push up pops. Okay. They were great. And Scooby had a cousin named Cousin or Scrappy Doo. Yeah, yeah Scrappy Doo. <laughs> did everyone watch the live action Scooby Doo yeah. movie? Did. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a live Ugh. action. It was Come like 2010. On. No, it was so. Is there good. an actual dog playing Scooby Doo? No. Okay. <laughs> no, it was CGI. I wish. Yeah, we didn't need that movie. <laughs> yeah, but it was still good. It was good. Zoom in. Yeah. Holothurian, I bet. Oh, wait, no. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> sea pig. Hey. They're doing the same pose. Mm hmm. What's the oh. other? Did you guys watch the Goosebumps movies? Nope. <laughs> no. Wait, really? the Goosebumps? Yeah. Oh, wait. The Goosebumps series. I had a Goosebumps board game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Oh, sounds I like, think a, it was sounds like the a sad movies. childhood. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just realizing it was like I went from books to board games because I don't think there were movies of it yet. And I was... Oh laughing because I was probably dating myself, but <laughs> <laughs> at least TV was invented then. Xenophile 4? Xenophile 4. Was it just one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Standard issue. <laughs> Standard, Standard issue, Xenophile 4. Oh, what was for dinner today? Well, chat, we had, um, what did we have? Mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. I had um, mashed potatoes and pasta. What? Was pasta. Yeah. Yeah. Did so you not have dinner. a vegetable? Fruits, no. vegetables. Oh, no. What are the meats? Uh, was there fish? Um, fish, I think. There was fish. Chicken. Ground beef. Ground ground beef, there you go. I bet there was vegetables in the meat sauce that I had. I bet. I had noodles with vegetables and tofu. Ooh. Nice. What's this thing here? It's old sponge. Looks like that oh. thing we saw kind of buried. Zoom in, dude. Oh my god, we're getting so desperate. <laughs> What did you folks have for dinner? That's lunch. I had my sponge. Potatoes. Dead sponge. Yeah. Oh, wow. Dead sponge. I feel like it's they might be putting other quickly. vegetables yeah. in the mashed potatoes. That counts. Has anyone felt that way too? Nope. Nope. Okay. Sometimes they seem like kind of like fibrous. Oh, there's something. Anemone. Oh. oh, what's that? Anemone. Oh. I think my volume's <laughs> down. 
Zoom in, Dave. <laughs> so desperate. Oh, this is the one with the white balls on the oh, end. Oh, yeah. It's a pretty one. Oh, no. They look like ornaments. They do. It's really cute. Great to see you. So happy you're here. <laughs> wow, that was the most, like, <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so happy. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, Sean. and then, well, Jules, this question is for you. What's and, that? Um, and Paula. Hmm. Uh, so what are organisms preserved in when they're brought up to the surface? Um, usually 95% ethanol. Some are dried. Um, and in some cases, formalin. What? Well, I agree uh, with Jules. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what makes you decide to use one or the other? Um, I think formalin is used is when you're more concerned with like maintaining morphology. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. It fixes the cells. The, well, ethanol does too, I suppose. But the ethanol will dehydrate things mm -hmm. a little more. But it's great to do genetic testing. Yeah. On it. The formalin will sort of like, uh, not like harden things, but like, like kind of, like freeze them in place. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Pretty much. Yes. Like, yeah. Preserve them. You might say. <laughs> Some may say preserve. Uh -huh. That sounds like the correct word. And we dry rocks. The rocks, yeah, we we uh, dry them. We cut them with the saw to make so we can see the insides. And then we describe you, what's inside. You actively dry them or you just leave them out? Just leave them out. I mean, I've been on other expeditions where we're collecting so many that we can use heat lamps sometimes to dry them out, but... These dry pretty well. So when you're using um, ethanol or formalin, do you have mm -hmm. to, like after a certain amount of time, do you have to replace the solution? Um, if That's a good question. If things are well preserved, they should last for a very long time. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. Something that I was doing at the museum, um, when I was working in collections was like going through all of the old specimens and putting them in new jars with fresh um, ethanol because some of the things were like hundreds of years old. Zoom in, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Usually yeah. we... Wow, that's amazing. At the wet lab, we usually check every few days with for the ethanol levels to make sure they're still there, that mm -hmm. there are no spills. Anemone. When I was... a uh, like seven years old, I think. I was in Hawaii and on the beach found a dead baby moray eel oh. and we preserved it in vodka and it's still preserved. Really? Still really? I, uh, That's impressive. It's at my parents' house, I think. What? Wow. Wow. Your first sample. My first <laughs> sample, yeah. <laughs> zero, zero, one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I need to check. Looks like what we're getting the to the steep section here. That's uh, amazing. That's 80 Something proof, probably. So I think that's 40% alcohol. 40%? Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> wow. Which is a super weird scale. The proof scale? Yeah, Ooh, I don't that understand big. it. <gasps> Could 
Zoom in, Dave. It's bamboo. Bamboo? Mm. Yeah, bamboo. Inter nodal? Uh, nodal. With the uh, fly tri flap. <laughs> fly trap. <laughs> It's got some big old polyps there, or are we <laughs> looking at, maybe it's a perspective issue. All right, guys, home stretch for this watch. Well, we got half an hour left, Adam. I you know. know what time it is. Oh, time to use my delay tactics before. <laughs> nope. Nope. No, it's I don't, rock time. If, a, if we're only have one more spot for a rock, I don't want it from here. I want to get higher up. Okay. This is it then. He says that now. I mean, we got him to take two core samples earlier, so I think we could probably. You cannot <laughs> twist my try. arm. What's that on the left in the <laughs> sediment? Anything interesting? Please let it be something interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, what's this? Uh, nothing on the left. What's on the right? To the right. To the right. Hold on. Is it a this, was right the down original, there? this was the original thing you wanted to look at, was it not? Oh. 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 Well, An anemone. A creature. An anemone. In a tube. Oh, there's a little a tube. thing on the rock yeah, down there, too. Yeah. What is it? That. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Baby rock pen? Um, or baby coral? Could be a black coral. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Black coral. Black coral. What type? I don't know. Look into it. <clears throat> good? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That's a big xenophyte for down there. In the sand sediment. Oh yeah, I see it now. I could have been heteropathies. Potentially. Yeah, maybe put heteropathies with a question mark. <laughs> Noted. Thank you. Another anemone. Oh. Zoom is. Oh, and a sponge. Yep, dead sponge stock. Oh. Mm -hmm. Time to 
Time for a move. Bridge nav. Five zero meter is two four five. Awesome. I do like possums. Yeah, mm -hmm. possums are pretty cool. <laughs> possums. They get a bad rap. <laughs> We're really there, huh? Uh, <laughs> really I don't really like topics. possums. <laughs> well, oh, there's like a Riddick Gorgia in the, that we're just passing. No way. Where? Uh, you can see it next to the push course. Robert's turning the. It's like yes. the biggest thing we've seen in a while. Oh, I love her to Gorcha. Oh. Oops, Adelaide had a reverse too. <laughs> <laughs> reversing, reversing in general is a very bad idea. I know. Yeah. So. But look, it's totally worth it. It's so worth oh, it. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. It's bigger oh, than Herc. Oh, snap. What? What? Oh, so lovely. That is beautiful. All right, we're getting into it. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, nature's corkscrew. Of <laughs> <laughs> all of these. All right. That was good. That was like a palate cleanser. It gets to the next half hour. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. 20 minutes. Hey, 18. <laughs> <laughs> Who's counting? <laughs> Ooh. Another anemone. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> another one. <laughs> is there a sudden change in texture here? Seems yeah, like is that a sponge like up ahead? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like a, a sponge. really intact kind of iron manganese crust on this part. What is it? Corvitellinae? Did I get that right, Paula? Yep, looks like it. Cool. These ones are really neat. Yeah. Zoom in, Dave. the side view of a slab, I think, but Is it? we'll see it when we pick up a little bit. Hmm. Lots of little associates here. Mm 
It's very interesting how there's this multiple textures going on. Mm. The yeah. stringy web bits and the lumpy big bits. I wonder how that helps it. I all. wonder how the cells know how to what they're supposed to do. Yeah, right. And another anemone. Um, any rocks interest you? No? No. no. Okay. I'm pretty sure that this is all iron manganese crust on sediment. I mean, there's definitely some volcanic rocks here, but right. I'm just not I'm really Bridge like to be a little more confident about where what they are. Okay. Let's add two zero meters to the step two four five. Oh no. Just two zero meters, please. And for all of our folks tuning in, um, for everyone who's just joined uh, our the stream, uh, we are currently exploring the north flank and summit of Sea Mount 9. Um, our expected uh, time on the bottom is about 22 hours at a max depth of 3,100 meters. We are currently at 2,256 meters. Um, if you are just joining, uh, check out nautiluslive.org for our um, highlights from our previous dives. Our team will be uploading more highlights in the days to come, so stay tuned. Okay. So what do we got for our uh, whole distance here? Let's see. What? Hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, Halosaur. Halosaur, yay. Isn't that white one we saw? Is there a, there's two of them? Yeah. Uh, Y'all oh. are not going to believe this. What? Best? We've gone 1,030 <gasps> meters. Woo! 
So our average <laughs> was 257 meters oh, per okay. hour. Oh, okay, so this is our, like, <laughs> Oh, my yeah, goodness. Actually, no, that's really Why impressive. Why are these guys traveling oh, together? We got a meet cute. This is oh, how fast cute. everyone else moves. <laughs> We're average. <laughs> We're average. Our second best. <laughs> our second and personal best. There's a... Oh, Hallow Square to Cuskio. Oh. That's interesting, though. This is the second time we've seen yeah. a Cuskio right, and uh, right. Hallow Square together. Yeah, it's kind of sus. That's very interesting. I wonder if there's some sort of relationship there. It seems more than coincidental. Yeah. <laughs> I meant relationship between the species, <laughs> not between <laughs> the group we've seen. But yeah, well, it does, it does seem fish for. Exactly, and now suddenly they're together. Oh, about in half an hour since we saw the last <laughs> fish. Oh, oh there we go. So, <laughs> we took you to the on streets. a cycle. So there's a little uh, tank on Herc that they get released from every yeah. half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> they're just swimming in and out of the bio box. It's actually the same fish. <laughs> they're like, ugh, I'm on in 10 minutes. <laughs> 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 So this move's going to run out in 10 meters, and then I think we'll just let the swing catch up so that the next watch gets here, and they've got a nice lineup of vehicles, if that's okay. It's a good line. Great. Okay, that ship move is complete. Oh. Cheyenne's always the first one in here. Right? What yeah. a conscientious yeah. washstander. So punctual. She's always early. That's impressive. Yeah, that's true. How do you do it? MVP. <laughs> Coast Guard trading. Yeah, that's right. If you're on time, you're late. Right. Yeah. I'm always late. <laughs> Actually, not always. Just I'm most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just like as a general rule, I tend to run late. There's something called island time. Oh, or yeah. Island, you, everything's. Yeah, Slower. it's like the meeting starts at five, but you show up like at six. Exactly. Or six <laughs> that's what oh my god! Because realistically, people will start <laughs> showing up at seven. That's that's yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, on t that's early if you oh show up god. at six. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but everybody not. doesn't show up officially until seven seven thirty. I would find that incredibly frustrating. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I would hate is. that, especially if it's a meeting. Yeah. I was thinking like a half hour time window and I was like, okay, two and a half hours. You just have to take it into account. I guess. Why <laughs> not just say 7.30? <laughs> my job back home we can enter when we have administrative work to do we can enter anytime we want as long as we do the eight hours but we have to stay 
the eight hours there. Oh, okay. And one time I have one friend that had to drive like three hours to get to to work. So he arrived like at 12 oh. in, at midday. So he had to stay up until 8 p.m. So wow. I was like, it's not always the best to enter whenever you want. Just have no. a stricter <laughs> schedule. It works best. For our, folk, for our folks at home, um, thank you so much. Um, Y'all have been amazing. 8 to 12 is now on signing out. Uh, we are on watch change. Don't forget to head on over to our website for our highlights. We will be posting our photo albums very soon. Check out Nautilus Live on Instagram for our takeover as well. Um, yeah, thanks for exploring with us. Hello. No, no side tone this evening. Wow. Do you want some? <laughs> no, not at all. I usually get it. Can you come up a little bit on Atalanta there, please? Coming up. Bridge now. 
Good morning. I see that the current and winds have picked up a lot. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, knock on wood. Okay. <laughs> I like that one better. <laughs> What's that distance to the summit? Uh, yeah, it's about 2,000 meters. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, it's short. I'm now. using the wrong. Give me a second. It's about 1,000... Fourteen hundred meters. Fourteen hundred. Okay. Bad. We'll go to the um, one in the middle, probably. Yeah. That one. Yeah. Are we interested in going across at all, or just straight? Actually, yeah. Uh, I, w we weren't sure the ship could move. W see the one that's to the east. Uh, yeah. that one. Yeah. Yeah, we it, probably shouldn't do that one. You don't think so? That's no. a little more direct uphill, though. I don't really like driving <laughs> sideways up the mountain, <laughs> but um, let's see. I think it doesn't matter too much, I guess. Two one. You want to try it for a little bit and see what happens? What's the winds at? Uh, wind and current are up. Current's at two point five, and winds at like eighteen to twenty. Um, yeah. Why don't we? go for the far one and then they can drive across the summit in mm -hmm. a better probably in a better way you know right i guess it just it all depends on when the winds are yeah but we can definitely go to either of these okay of let's these do guys. the middle one the middle one all yeah. right i'll let you know if the winds get better if we want to change up okay Everybody ready? Climb the mountain. Ready. Ready. As he can ever be. <laughs> Mostly just look, gonna kind of ignore the rocks because they're not that can interesting. Can we do and, uh, three zero meters at two four five? Look for, look for signs of life. Do you think, what signs have they been life. doing? Have they been doing point three or point two knots? I heard Samantha say that they went a thousand meters on their watch, so that's two hundred and fifty. That should be like trucking it. Point two, yeah. Yeah, they said it uh, was desolate, so. Yeah, but we're just getting into the sweet spot, more yep. or less. Mm -hmm. So we expect our watch to amp up have a, a bit. little more Candyland, hopefully. <laughs> Come up, and we're going out at like 240, 250 or something. All right. Dead forayed sponge stalk. Seen those a couple times, but no alive ones. Or maybe that was that weird sponge we've been seeing. So we're trying point three knots. Um, see if the ship's happy with that. Spin around. Thirty-five. That what?
So rocks, huh? Yeah, um, <laughs> I was told. Yeah, ferromanganese yeah, crusts. <laughs> um. uh, these aren't really that interesting. Mm. Loopy, what were you saying? Um, I was uh, told that uh, we have one last like box mm -hmm. on this on the starboard that is meant for a good rock. So like. Yes, Adam told me that too. So yeah, we have quite. We'll probably wait till um, later in our the watch when we get yeah. up higher on the. Yeah. yeah. Got it, got it. Joy, do you want to try to go to, like, the edge of this ridge, like, right here? Um, I mean, it doesn't matter. We're, we're anywhere on, up on the summit Okay. is where we're aiming for, I think. Is it introduction time? It feels like it. Everybody good up there? Do introductions? Go sure. team noodlers. <laughs> okay. Well, everybody, welcome aboard the exploration vessel Nautilus. Oh, here at the 12 to 4 a.m. watch. My name is Daniel. I am your SPL host for this evening. Um, I'm Sarah, the scientist for this watch. It's just 30 Cheyenne. We're on a pretty steep slope. Dwight Coleman here, uh, geologist for the watch, watch leader. Um, hi, I'm Loopy. I am the data logger for this watch. Also, Loopy, real quick, I typed in something on the in the chat that we saw. I just didn't want to interrupt Daniel. Oh, got it. Thank you. Also, today is my grandmother's birthday. She turns 70. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, Happy, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. All right. What do you, wait, you call her Wayla? Yeah, Wayla. <laughs> Wayla. Wayla. Yeah. <laughs> uh, front row introductions. I am the other Sarah. <laughs> But Sarah with an H, <laughs> and I am the Atalanta pilot this <laughs> evening. Michael, the Hercules pilot. Uh, Cheyenne, the navigator. Yep. Amber, the video engineer. Woohoo! Go noodlers! <laughs> yeah, so right now we're going up the slope of this guillot. We're hoping mount. to reach. Or seamount, sorry. It's not really a guillot, yeah. Okay. <laughs> change of pace <laughs> <laughs> um, up the slope of the seamount and we're hoping to reach the top so that's a great question for you Dwight what's the difference between a geo and a seamount well a geo is actually a type of seamount um, geos were once uh, islands so they had emerged above sea level at some point in their history Whereas seamounts could have may may not have ever seen sea level, right? They could be uh, volcanic Come uh, down a little bit. constructs sure. that just formed on the seafloor and didn't reach the height to bring it up above sea level. Yeah, geos have flat tops. Seamounts uh, um, or non-geo seamounts have pointy, more more pointy tops. Yep, so um, right now we're continuing the game of is it a rock? Yeah. Is it sediment? Is it a shadow? Is it a, an organism? Also play find the shapes in the rocks. <laughs> Sometimes they look like hearts. Okay, look, I've given up on that. <laughs> oh, but you're the master, Sarah. Right. right, you're the you're the master of every shape possible. I must have missed possible. something last watch that Lila was on. <laughs> no, like one time. So it was one time where I thought a rock looked like a beaver, and no one else saw it, and I didn't have time to draw it out. And everyone it was, it was like, was Sarah, what? Why? And why I was I like, it's clearly a beaver. It was just a rock. 
It was what, literally. Where did the uh, noodlers come from? I think that's the first <laughs> oh. time I've heard that one. <laughs> I no, should never ask that. Like that. It was just a comment I made because I was <laughs> oh, okay. just noodling around, like without wasn't any, given any direction, so I was just zipping around everywhere, right. waiting for the ship or something. It was late, Dwight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like now. Yeah. Look, it's not late it's yet. It's still the beginning of our watch, so we're, we're a little it's fresh. It's just <laughs> really early. Give us <laughs> <the story. laughs> Actually, it is. It's morning. It okay, is. it's morning. Super early. <laughs> we actually have a full, full watch with a dive, not instead of doing a recovery or something. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's true. Or descent. I feel like we've been doing a lot of launches. Like yeah. Recoveries. I yeah. don't know if that's just me. I don't know. Well, every launch from recovery is generally no, two crews that are doing it. Left. Oh, that's so true. they would also say that too, like two out of every three. Oh, it's getting pretty steep. Here we go. Let's look at this coral finally. Ooh. Oh, big Yeah, fans. probably get them doing point two. It's pretty steep here. Like this, you're not going to get as much time as you'd like to look at it probably. Sorry. Uh, go ahead and zoom. Ooh. Ah. Okay. So it looks like we're looking at a prim noid. Yep. Or actually, is that? No, it is a prim noid. Okay. Cool. We have some associates. Oh, and there's another um, bamboo in the back. I was gonna I say that's a banding. bamboo back there. In the in the back, yes. Yeah. These big fans are primnoids with a bunch of associates. Looks like um, branched or unbranched. And enemies. Um, this is so. This is branched. But it's gonna be difficult to find an ID. I think. Actually, no, we're not at quite the depth, but. Um. Yeah. Okay. Looks like the sea star is about to take off. I know. The ophiroids always take off for landing. That's a cool little jelly up near the top there. Oh yeah, maybe a coralivorous jelly. All right, I think we're good. Thank you. Okay, full wide. I don't know how many big fans they were seeing before. Oh, this is a great no, picture. No, not not at all. Like that's yeah, there so was a couple. What are they, ir iridogorgias? The spirally ones? Yeah, mm -hmm. a couple of those. Oh, okay, cool. The rest I saw were kind of small. Yeah. It seemed like they uh, they got one primnoid that's 60 mm -hmm. centimeters long. 60 Spartan centimeters inch. high mm -hmm. fans. Ah, from, bad. from pretty deep, maybe. Yeah. It's coming up Same quick. Same thing with like coming a Chrysogorgia. Not here. Well, 